Hello everybody, it's Tracking Pat, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to do DXF programming in the Prototrack RLX lathe. I do wanna point out that we've never done a DXF video for the SX product, and most of what you're gonna see works exactly the same way. You have to remember a couple things. First of all, the RX has a touch screen, so even though I'm using the offline to show this to you, I would also be able to use my fingers if I was using it on the control or in a touchscreen computer. So you're gonna follow along on my cursor, but remember all those clicks could just be my fingers. Um, secondly, you're gonna see a couple differences between SX and RX, and I'll point them out when we get to them. But the first thing we're gonna do as always is we're gonna go to the program in and out mode. And in here, we're gonna select the drawing that we wanna actually create. So once we open that, Unlike the SX product, we have to go to the program mode right away. In the SX, it'll open the DXF and you'll just start selecting parts. But uh, in the program mode, you'll notice in here that as soon as I push go to begin, here is the block that you would normally see in either product that's showing me the layers that are in my DXF file. And what I'm going to do is just click these buttons to hide the things that I don't need and strip it all down to just the geometry of the piece part. Next thing I'm going to do is push continue. And in here, it's asking me if I want to close any gaps that are five thousandths or less. I can change this number to make it bigger or smaller, but generally five thousandths works fine. So I'm going to push yes. Next, you'll notice that the piece part is up here and I have the ability to align it to a certain axis or to rotate it. I want to actually cut this part of the, of the piece. So therefore, I'm going to hit rotate 90 degrees twice and then select continue again. Here it's asking me to tell it where the part zero is and I have three choices, A, B, or C. I'm gonna select B so that I can get right to the center of this line like so. You'll see my zero reference is there now and then once again, push continue. When we prototrack or when we program in a prototrack, we always use the positive half of the piece part in the lathe. So there is a button here that allows me to eliminate everything except for the X positive. So I'm gonna select that, hit continue one more time. And then in here I can add and delete certain parts of the geometry to make it easier for myself. I'm gonna start out by going to trim line and each time I double click one of these lines here, you'll see that they trim off to the next intersecting point. And one more right there. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to make the part a little bigger because I want to put a line across this gap right here because that's going to be my groove that comes later. So in that place, I'm going to go to add a line and then I'm going to select both sides of that gap and it'll fill it in there. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to add a new point which will allow me to extend the line from any given intersecting point. So I'm gonna do that like so, okay? So now that I've got that done, I'm gonna shrink this down again so I can see the whole part, and I'm gonna push continue. Now, once I do that, now I'm in the programming section of this, and you'll see my piece part is here and all my can cycles. But up at the top, you'll notice that I have DXF mode and I have program mode, and this is the big difference between the RX and the SX product. I can switch back and forth at any time, take some stuff from the geometry and the DXF, then go to program mode, add some stuff manually and back and forth. And I'm gonna show you a little of how that works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a cycle event. Here it's asking me like always, do I want a chain? I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm gonna start by selecting the first piece and then the second piece. And you'll see that it goes all the way to where the first intersection is, all right? If I zoom that up a little bit more, I'm going to actually select this bottom piece that I added and then continue on. And I have one last piece right there. Okay, so there's my completed cycle part. I'm gonna come up here and click on event, and it's asking me for the diameter of my stock, which in this case is two inches. It knows where I'm beginning at zero, zero. My depth of cut, I'm gonna use 100 thousandths per rough pass. My defaults tell me that I'm going to use the z-axis to rough with, so I'm just gonna hit abset. I'm gonna use 450 as my surface footage and eight thousandths per rev for my feed rate. I'm going to use tool number one. And then my finish cut, I'm going to add 25 thousandths for the final pass. In my finished surface feed, I'm going to keep that the same at 450, but I'm going to lessen this to six thousandths. I'm still going to use tool number one. And one of the other features in the RLX that the SX didn't have 
is the ability to make it pause between the rough and the finished cycles. If I wanted to do that, I would say yes here, but in this case, I don't need it. So I'm just simply gonna push the event button again. It takes me back to the programming section. So now I'm going to do this groove. And in order to do this groove, I'm gonna to have to blow this up a little bit bigger. And all I gotta do is select the three pieces of the groove like so. Again, go back to event. It has most of the information, but what it wants to know is whether I want a chamfer or a Conrad at the top or the bottom, which I don't need. So I'm just gonna leave those at zero. I'm gonna use three chip breaks. I'm gonna use 250 for my surface footage, two thousands per rev, and then a finish cut of two thousands as well. My feeds and speeds for my finish cut are basically gonna stay the same, and I'm gonna to use tool number two. All right, now what I'm gonna show you is that at any time I can switch over to the program mode. So in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna thread this section of this bar. So what I'm gonna do here is just swipe forward like I would in the normal program mode. I'm gonna select a thread, and I'm gonna start out, this thread is an inch and a quarter, and starting at Z0. And it's an inch and a quarter at the other side, or I could have pushed ink set, and it is three inches long. My pitch is a 1 8 pitch, so 0 0.125. I've got five roughing passes, one spring pass. And in this box, if I don't put any numbers in here, it'll automatically default to 29 and a half degrees. But if I'm doing a special thread, I would change that. In this case, just hit ab set. It defaults to outside, so ab set again. It's a single lead thread, and it tries to calculate the RPM, but we can do it much faster than that. So I'm gonna change that to 300 and make it tool number three. So here you see my completed part, just like you would see in the normal program mode. So what I'm gonna do next is go to the tool table, and I'm just gonna select my tools from my library and put them into my piece part. So the right-hand turn face tool is tool number one, OD groove tool number two, and then OD thread tool number three. Close the tool table, and now I'm gonna to switch to the setup mode. And I'm gonna check my tool path. And you'll see in here that I've got all my roughing passes, my grooving, and then all of my cuts to do my thread. So that looks good. I'm gonna push return, go to verify part, make part, and then I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so you can watch the whole process. And there you have it. So as you can see, the process is very simple. It's very similar in the SX control. You do have a few added functions in the RX that you didn't have in the SX. But for the most part, it's pretty simple to follow along. I suggest you try this on your own. If you have any questions, make a comment at the bottom of this video and I'll get back to you and answer any way that I can. I hope this has really been beneficial to you. I enjoyed teaching it to you. I will see you in the next video. And remember, until then, keep on tracking.